Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TVMI. It is Wednesday, August 20th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. This is a landmark day for us. We will be celebrating our 700th edition of the daily newsletter. Here is to the next 700 and beyond. And on a self-promotional note, I will be appearing today on radio's The Mary Lou Henner Show, talking about the upcoming 66th Annual Primetime Emmy Awards. My appearance will be at 1.08 p.m. Eastern Time, so I hope you will check out The Mary Lou Henner Show. Now let's head to some current TV news. I will begin today with news on the renewals of three different series. The first one is Drama, The Strain on FX, which has been picked up for a second season for 13 new episodes. Then we have Drama, Finding Carter on MTV, has been renewed for a second season with an order for an additional 12 episodes. And heading over to Hulu, animated comedy The Awesomes, created by Seth Meyers, has been picked up for a third season with an unconfirmed number of new episodes for 2015. So The Strain, Finding Carter, and The Awesomes are all returning next season. Dallas on TNT returned this past Monday at 9 p.m. for the second half of its current third season. This is a show that is currently on the fence for renewal. A number of readers have emailed me asking what I think. Well, Dallas returned with 1.97 million viewers. Now, this is not necessarily a tremendous number, but the positive news is it was consistent from its average earlier in the season. If you factor in the pending DBR usage, I am hoping for a number close to 3 million viewers. If Dallas can do that each week, I do think its chances of renewal are positive. But Dallas came back, 1.97 million, not the best, not the worst. We will have to wait and see what happens. In casting news, former Desperate Housewives star Eva Longoria has signed on for Fox's Brooklyn Nine-Nine in a three-episode story arc. And Shad Moss, better known as rapper Bow Wow, has been cast on upcoming CSI spinoff CSI Cyber, which will debut in January, replacing its parent series CSI in the Sunday 10 p.m. hour. Upcoming CSI Cyber will be the third spinoff of CSI. The other two, of course, were CSI Miami and CSI New York, and both enjoyed very long runs. Let's head over to the weekly rating scorecard based on the live plus same day data for the broadcast networks for the week of August 11th. We had CBS, the most watched network. It has now been number one in total viewers. For eight out of the last nine weeks, there is every reason to believe that CBS will remain dominant in total viewers next season. And NBC was tops in the three key demos of adults 18 to 49, adults 25 to 54, and adults 18 to 34. Here's some positive news on CBS sitcom Mom, which is one of my personal favorites. If you would like a chance to revisit Mom or check it out for the first time, TBS will be airing it in the Monday to Friday, 7.30 p.m. time period, effective on August 25th for four weeks, and this will hopefully whet the appetite for the upcoming second season of Mom. My prediction at the Emmy Awards on Monday is Allison Janney will be named Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. She is outstanding, in my opinion. If she does win, it will be her sixth Emmy Award overall in her very illustrious career. Coming up on the air tonight, we have the debut of a new docu-series that focuses on this ongoing fascination with tattoos. It is called Epic Inc. It airs on A&E at 10.30 p.m. I have a description for you on it in today's newsletter. Today in TV history, let's go back to 1989. We have the debut of NBC Saturday morning sitcom Saved by the Bell, which ultimately ran for four seasons, producing 86 episodes. It spun off two series. The first was Saved by the Bell, The College Years in Primetime. That aired in the 93-94 season. And we had Saved by the Bell, The New Class, which aired on Saturday morning from 93 to 2000. And then on this day in 1990, this is interesting, I bet you don't remember this, the first spinoff of Ron Howard Theatrical Parenthood debuted on NBC. It was a half-hour dramedy. It starred Ed Begley Jr. and Jane Atkinson as the parents. 
Also featured was a 16-year-old Leonardo DiCaprio. At the time I was working at NBC, I remember the network was interested in actually running that version of Parenthood twice a week. It only, unfortunately, lasted one season, and the current version of Parenthood will return on NBC for its final season. And that is our daily video cast from TVMI on this 20th day of August. Happy 700th issue of our daily newsletter to us. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you back tomorrow. Take care.